Hey people, we are back with another one. We got a, another Taylor Swift song. We're on our musical journey with Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out. What's up with Taylor Swift? What's the hype? What's, What's up with hype? Taylor Swift? What's the hype? Yeah. What's the hype? We had this video that we did a few days ago and it literally yeah. was titled, What's the Hype? We watched the video, um, Fortnite. We got a lot of comments, you know, the hype is this. You gotta listen to this. You gotta watch Taylor Swift live. You have to listen to her lyrics and a whole lot of other Comment. So what we're gonna do now is listen to one of those suggestions. The smallest, the smallest, man. Man. The smallest man who ever lived. So we're gonna jump into it right now. Was any of it true? Gazing at me, starry-eyed, in your Jehovah's Witness suit. Who the fuck was that? You tried to buy some pills From a friend of friends of mine They just ghosted you Now you know what it feels like And I don't even want you back, I just want to know Rusting my sparkling summer was the goal And I don't miss what we had but could someone give A message to the smallest man who ever lived You hung me on your wall Stabbed me with your pins in public showed me off then sank in stoned oblivion cause once your queen had come you treat her like an also ran you didn't measure In any measure of a man And I don't even want you back, I just want to know If rusting my sparkling summer was the goal And I don't miss what we had, but could someone give A message to the smallest man who ever lived Were you sent by someone who wanted me dead? Did you sleep with a gun underneath our bed? Were you writing a book? Were you a sleeper cell spy? In 50 years will all this be declassified? And you'll confess why you did And I'll say good He wants it wasn't forbidden I would have died for your sins Instead I just died inside And you deserve prison But you won't get time You'll slide into inboxes And slip through the bars You crashed my party And your rental car He said Girls were boring, but you were gone by the morning. You kicked out the stage lights, but you're still performing. And in plain sight, you hid, but you are what you did. And I'll forget you, but I'll never forgive the smallest man who ever Hey guys, that was Taylor Swift, the smallest man who ever lived. It was the um, lyrical music video. Yeah, official uh, yeah. lyrical. Uh -huh. I couldn't find a music video. Maybe one doesn't exist. But um, I wrote down some thoughts while I was listening to it. The first thought that I wrote down was that I think Taylor Swift, I'm not sure, is known 
for writing about her relationships. So if yeah, you... that's what I think. That's what a lot of people were saying in the comments that you know. Oh, okay. It was definitely about a sour a relationship right. that went sour, but it kind of sounded like and the she's... relationship was sour from the beginning. It didn't just go sour. Right. And so she's she... not married, right? Never been married. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think... Okay, you guys will tell us. But as far I as I know, she is not married currently. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. never been married. Mm-hmm. So let's. We have to say all her relationships have gone sour. And if you are unfortunate enough to be that man that you're in a relationship with Taylor Swift, you gonna, she gonna sing you about might you. have a song written about <laughs> you. So the dude yeah. that's in the NFL, you gotta yeah. watch out, she's, brother. She's probably already writing the song. Ooh, buddy. All right, so the second thing I wrote down is details. There's a lot of details in the song. Yeah. There's a lot of details, which is a, a sign of a good songwriter. Mm-hmm. Smokey Robinson is very detailed- when he's mm-hmm. re- another one, y'all might not like it, might like it. Mm-hmm. R. Kelly, very detailed, yeah, and it makes yeah. you say, Whoa. "Right, right." <laughs> it puts you right there yeah, in, in I, the moment. She's a storyteller. Yeah, she's a storyteller with the with the backing of music. So I think mm. people were saying she's genius. I could see why they would say why would, that. Why they would say that? Yeah. I could see, and you know, I do appreciate that this was the lyrical video mm-hmm. video because it forced you to. Hear what she was saying. And re- so yeah. I was reading what she was saying, and it it was definitely poetic. Yeah. yeah. Um. I also say I'll say on the negative side of that, a lot of lyrics are very lyrical as far as words and, mm-hmm. and being poetic is. I feel like sometimes you can lose people because she lost me. I have an idea, but I'm not sure exactly what the to, if you say sum up this song, mm-hmm. what Taylor Swift was talking about. Mm-hmm. I have the feeling that, like you said, it was a bad relationship or a relationship that went bad. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't tell you anything other than that, in de- you know, in more in deep, more detail. Next mm-hmm. thing I was gonna say is, as far as her singing goes, very good singing, mm-hmm. very good singing. And I, and I, I it definitely worked with the storytelling. So yeah. she had, you know, one. So one part of it, it reminded me of how Beyonce goes from that. Um, you know, that middle range, and then she goes very low, and then brings it back up, and goes very... I really like that part. Yeah. One part she was saying, it was notes. in the court. Oh, you said that? Yeah, she hit I the low... I noticed, I noticed the low notes she was Yeah, hit. that... She, she hit, hit them those. very strong and very, very um, clean, mm-hmm. and and, mm-hmm. and nothing was wavering. It was, though I really noticed those. Yeah, so, I could... Clean, I, I like how, how hard they could be. Clean. Yeah. She said, her clean. voice is clean. Yeah. So you could hear every word she was saying. Yeah. You didn't have to guess. What yeah. did she say right there? Rewind it back. Um, the next thing I was going to say is because of the, the lyrics got in the weeds. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. It got into the weeds, meaning you had to wade through them. Mm-hmm. And because it's my first time hearing the song, I really didn't come away. I couldn't tell you. I, I, I could tell it was a somber song. Mm-hmm. And it was probably about a relationship, like you said, that went bad. But I couldn't tell you anything beyond it. And I think that's okay because there are people, I'm going to speak for myself, a lot of times I don't listen to music for the lyrics unless, you know, I don't purpose to sit down and listen to the music for the lyrics. I think, though, Taylor Swift fans, from what I've been hearing and reading from the comments, they're the type of people who go to Taylor Swift to get a message from her or like to listen, sit down and listen to what story she's about to tell today. Mm-hmm. Those people are probably the people who like reading people who like to read poetry people who like to listen to poetry yeah. you know what i mean so for you to listen to it and just hear the music elements like the beats the way she's saying the sound mm. and not really come away with anything that she was saying um you know because the- it was very poetic and i go to my next point taylor swift's a poet she's that a poet sets her she's a poet. poems to music that's what it is mm. yeah i would that's say that bottom line period i would say that and because she's a poet um, she's very lyrical. Mm-hmm. She knows what she's doing with mm-hmm. words. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, a person like me or whatever might get lost in that, in the weeds. Mm-hmm. I'll have to listen to that thing several a times. times yeah. I need to get some history on Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. I need to, you know, to figure out what she's talking and about. And so a lot of the Swifties, a lot of her fans probably know the exact relationship she was in at that time that she wrote this song. And they can right. say that was about this person. That was a, She was going through this at that time, you know, yeah. because I heard people, she puts her whole life, her whole music. All of her music, I think, is just a, a summation of her life in different times, yeah. points in time. I read an article over the weekend. It's funny. We put that. Our first video was, what's the deal? What's the oh, hype? Oh, right, right. And I right, saw right. an article that came out. It was CNN about, it was a um, 
a white lady, Caucasian lady, mm -hmm. who did not, her article is basically saying, I don't understand the hype about Taylor Swift. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. When she is supposedly the demographic, her, her music, own words, right. she said that she would be the demographic. That's, you know. Right. She's supposed to be, it's supposed to be um, shooting to. Catered towards, yeah. Um, but she was saying in the article also how, you know, the people who, you know, they'll put, the lyrics to Taylor Swift, like a quote or a line <laughs> on a, on a, you know, have it put on a pillow or something yeah, like that. Yeah, on t-shirts. Or on their, what's the right, name right. of the flash you got me? The flash. Flask. The, oh, um, flat. the oh. water thing. <laughs> Stanley. The they'll Stanley put, cup. They'll engrave uh, or put words, some yeah, of the lyrics on, yeah. on their Stanley cup, mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> lyrics, the lyrics are definitely heavy and, and also she's a poet. I mean, so. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were to ask what's the hype, I think I'm starting to see a little bit of what that is. What the hype is. The, now. The, oh, go ahead. Oh. I don't finish. Now. Yeah. Now that you see what people are talking about when they talk about Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. does that hype you? No. Personally. It yeah. does not hype me personally because that's not, right. I'm not, I'm not a Swifty and I don't think I would be a Swifty. Because she doesn't sing anything that really resonates with me. You know, like when you mentioned Smokey Robinson, and that's just a, already like an honor to even be mentioned with Smokey Robinson yeah. in the same breath, Taylor Swift. But I get your point that he was a poet. Mm -hmm. I can sit and listen to Smokey Robinson's music, and I'm a fan of Smokey He's Robinson. Shakespeare of, absolutely. The, absolutely. of the 20th century. But on top of that, I like his music. Yeah. Like, okay, another example, Music Soul Child. I think that he's kind of a poet he's as well. Lyric. Yeah, Very heavy. lyrical, but I like his music. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, I'm trying to think of someone someone else. Uh, you said R. Kelly. I mean, I don't... R. Kelly is a writer. Like, he's lyrical too. He's a poet He'll as well. He'll put you right in the place where he where Back he in is. the day, I was a fan, right? I mean, he his music was... I don't even have to but say. It, but the but, thing about R. Kelly is, you're saying what you about to say. Yeah. That you can't get it with him. Like, that's where you go, seem like you was leaning to. Well, if because the of the song uh, was put on right now, mm -hmm. your head would, I would start sing it. bobbing. I sure would. <laughs> I would. I mean, because and it's nothing the music. wrong with that. So you remember if I, a few minutes ago I was saying that you know I'm I'm about listening to the music. Right. So the music is what moves me. I. I listen, I, I hear some of Taylor Swift's songs like the I do what the day, ooh, ooh. I bob to that because it uh, it gets it's you pop. moving, but I won't it's say, oh, turn friendly. on that Taylor Swift song right quick. I don't, I'm not, it doesn't draw me. It's mm. not, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? It's not, that's not my style and that's okay. Um, but I can see why people, not as much, because there's some people who really get wild about Taylor Swift. I don't know, I don't understand that, mm -hmm. but I can understand why people, why there are fans, why she has, oh, yeah. you know, the, the, the appeal that what she has. What you're saying is she's talented. She is talented and you can't, <laughs> that, you can't deny that. Yeah, she's you talented. You can't deny that she, now, she's talented. Now to the degree she's been. I don't know about that. Up. Yeah, I don't know about that. We don't know yet. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yet. I don't know about I that. I ain't seen it yet. Can she dance? I don't know. I don't know if she can dance. I know she might be able to write. She has a nice voice, but can she dance? Can I've never seen her live performances, so I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, do you think she necessarily has to be able to dance? I, I don't know, but I don't know. I'm thinking performing. You have to do something for three hours. Well, well that's maybe why she can just stand there be, and just sing. We will she be might. reacting to a live, a live performance, performance of yeah. Taylor Swift, which I have never seen. I'm not. I've either. never seen Taylor Swift live. Perform live, but um, to be honest, I Fortnite was the first video that I've ever seen of Taylor Swift. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen, seen a video. I've yeah. just seen her songs like on the cruise ships during the karaoke and stuff yeah. like that. So, but I don't, I don't, I've not seen it myself. Mm -hmm. Sat down and actually watched it until now. I mean, yeah. we can go on and on, but we will do more Taylor Swift, and so we're discovering what the hype is. You know, somebody gave a good, good point. They said they were not a Taylor Swift fan at all, but when they started to listen. To her songs, they were like, oh, okay. And so they got with it. And they are like diehard Swifties right now. Yeah, Somebody in our that comments was saying comment. that. It probably was a song that, that resonated with that person in a moment in their life. They were probably going through something that Taylor Swift had already went through. And she wrote about it. And they were like, oh my God, this is my life. Mm -hmm. She's writing about my life. And they fell in love with Taylor Swift. That was our second Taylor Swift song. Yes. And we will be back again. Mm -hmm. once, it, As always, like, yes. subscribe. Yes. And comment. Leave Please leave a comment. The comments are good. Yeah, let us know you like the video. Let us know you hated the video. It's whatever. Mm, don't say you hated it. <laughs> Cause at least you watched it. Mm -hmm. that's, <laughs> that's true. But that's it, guys. So we will see you next time. Yes. With the next video. Mm -hmm. And. and... <laughs>
Peace.